Okay, I'm going to try to do uh, number two from problem set 12, 1. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slider. Um, and I'm going to call it T, which is for theta. Uh, and I'm going to go from 0 to, I don't know, 12, let's say 12.7. Um, and I'm going to go by point ones. Okay, so um, that we're going to use in a second, I think. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to define uh, z the way that it's defined uh, in the problem set. I'm going to do z sub 1, so that's an underscore and then a 1. Um, and that's going to be the cosine of theta. And theta we don't know, but I'm going to call it t, uh, which is using this slider. So right now it's going to do the cosine of 1 radian plus i times the sine of t. And it gives me uh, that point. And now let me change t. So if you click on t over here, it's a little easier to grab. You can see like when it's uh, about pi over 2, it's right where we expect it to be. When it's about pi, it's where we expect it to be, and so on. So uh, that's what it's doing. It's I've linked it. So I can change what um, theta is for that and kind of rotate it around. Um, so that's what I need to begin with. And the next thing I need to do is put in z sub 2, which actually, if I arrow up, I get this, and I can edit it. So 2. I need pi over 3. Pi, you go over here to the right and click this little guy. And pi. And I usually copy it because that's annoying. Pi over 6 plus i sine of pi over 6. And it gives me that. And right now, actually, I have... Uh, both of them kind of overlapping. So if I come over here, I can move this. And now what we really want to do is um, multiply them. So I'm just going to do that. Do z sub 1 times z sub 2. And I get that. And then the question is, you know, what's happening here? So, uh, and we may or may not know at this point what's happening. I mean, it certainly seems to be a rotation. It kind of looks like a uh, z sub 1 is chasing uh, the product of z1 and z2. Uh, this is actually probably a, a very telling look. You can kind of tell what's going on there. Um, so then the question that we really want to answer is, uh, for what value of theta does uh, z sub 1 times z sub 2 just equal i? Well, you can kind of get that here. Um, so it's, you know, we want them to multiply, and we want z, the, this uh, z sub 1 times z sub 2, to end up right here, which would be i on the uh, complex axis. Um, and then we have to answer, so you're going to solve for theta. And you can actually kind of guess theta uh, from this. It's, it's around 1, somewhere between 1 and 1.1, 1 .1, so figure that one out. Uh, then we need, uh, we need to get 1, so just 1, which uh, would be 1 plus 0 i, really. We need to get that, so you know we just rotate more. And you're going to do this analytically, but graphically you can kind of see what's happening. Uh, when I get here, it's really close to it. And if you leave a symmetry in Z1 and Z2, that should give you some ideas. And then finally, we want it to be, uh, uh, this one's annoying, uh, negative square root of 2 over 2 plus square root of 2 over 2i. You should have a sense of where that is actually uh, right now. It's going to be in the second quadrant and it's going to be along 3 pi over 4. Um, so we want it to equal that. So we got to figure out, you know, what, what do we do to make that happen? Um, and you can figure it out. Uh, it's going to lead you to some trig equations, I think, that you're going to need to solve. But don't forget, there's an infinite number of angles that'll make each of them happen. Um, but I hope this kind of visually is helpful to you, so good luck.